COVID-19 taxes and pro-life protections. Those were the main points Vice President Mike Pence and Senator Kamala Harris took on in last night's vice presidential debate less than a month before Election Day. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Eric? Well, Tracy, one thing's for sure. Overall, last night's debate was definitely calmer than last week's debate between President Trump and Democratic Vice President or presidential candidate Joe Biden. But not even the plexiglass on the stage last night could stop the political mudslinging or jabs from taking place. When you speak about the Supreme Court, though, I think the American people really deserve an answer, Senator Harris. Are you and Joe Biden going to pack the court if Judge Amy Coney Barrett is confirmed? In last week's debate, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden said... I'm not going to answer the question. What? And despite teasing a response... You want to talk about packing a court, let's have that discussion. Senator Kamala Harris also refused to answer. She did focus on the COVID-19 pandemic, blaming the Trump administration for the deaths of hundreds of thousands of Americans. In spite of all of that, today they still don't have a plan. They still don't have a plan. Well, Joe Biden does. And our plan is about what we need to do around a national strategy for contact tracing, for testing, for administration of the vaccine. Vice President Mike Pence said a COVID-19 vaccine is coming quickly. We're going to have a vaccine, Senator, in record time, in unheard of time, in less than a year. We have five companies in phase three clinical trials. And we're right now producing tens of millions of doses. And while Senator Harris spoke about her ticket support for matters of faith. Joe Biden and I are both people of faith. Vice President Pence highlighted the differences between the campaigns on protecting unborn life. I'm pro-life. I, I don't apologize for it. And this is another one of those cases where there's such a dramatic contrast. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris support taxpayer funding of abortion all the way up to the moment of birth. And of course, we can't talk about last night's debate without talking about the elephant in the room, or should I say fly? That's right, the fly that landed on the vice president's hair. It was all the buzz on social media. But we have to wait and see if, in fact, each candidate helped win some votes last night. We'll find out November 3rd. Tracy? Okay, thank you so much. Correspondent Eric Rosales reporting from Capitol Hill tonight.